Welcome to episode 473, Michael Milken, The Jung Born King, Nine Lessons. Outline of episode 473, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 473, lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson number 1, he invented the junk bond market. Junk bond is the same as high yielding bonds. As one of the ways I was able to convince the firm was I took a look at the stocks they were recommending. And most of the companies were not investment grade. So here they're suggesting you invest in the equity of businesses, but not suggesting you could buy preferred stocks, other part of the capital structure. It's, you know, if we look at it today, David, you know, the rating agencies, about the lowest you can be rated before you go bankrupt and then you get a D is a triple C. That are in the news today, Uber, companies worth tens of billions of dollars, doesn't have a lot of debt relative to its equity. Well, it's rated triple C. Lesson number two, his financial legacy, 60 million jobs, 10 plus self-made billionaires in new in industries. The sector by, quote, non-investment grade companies, minus four by larger companies. And as David said, many people who are household names became household names in industries that required enormous capital because they had access to capital. This is the list of famous self-made billionaires he helped create it. Ted Turner, Craig McCall, Steve Wynn, Steve Ross, John Malone, T. Poon Picken, and Summer Red House of Viacom. Lesson number three, his fault. He financed many LPOs, leveraged buyouts. Some said he helped Cal Icon destroy TWA and made $100 million. Lesson number four, his mentor, Professor Bradock Hickman. Professor Hickman had laid the foundation of high yielding bonds in the 1950s. With this book, Corporate Bond Quality and Investor Experience. Lesson number five, his mission, democratize availability of capital to hundreds of new and small firms. You need to figure out where the jobs are going to be created in a competitive world. The democratization of capital. That 95% of all the cities, pension funds, savings funds, etc., could not invest in a non-investment grade company. They only could buy investment grade debt. There's only 500 companies in the United States. You could not invest in one company headed by an African American. You could not invest in one company headed by a woman at the time. Not one company headed by Hispanic and Latinos, no matter what changed in terms of political power, the regulation said you could not loan money to people that were creating jobs. Now, for Lesson number six, his education legacy. With the fact that most Americans do not consider themselves to be financially literate, and 30% thinks it's acceptable to default on a mortgage today, and 26% think it's okay not to pay your bills on time. And when you talk to executives in America, 70% of them could not even define what is the term free cash flow today. And America's preoccupation at the federal level with housing and investment over the last 120 years that's gone down 60 years and gone up 60 years has led to government policies and incentives. Lesson number seven, betrayal in jail. He was betrayed by Ivan Bosky in jail for 22 months and fined $600 million. Lesson number eight, the comeback. In the 1980s, Michael Milken was the junk bond king and the most powerful man in Wall Street. Michael Milken made a huge comeback after his time in jail. Lesson number nine, Michael Milken's prosperity formula. Wrote down this formula, that prosperity job creation was a function of access to capital, to human capital, the world's largest asset, social capital, the world's second largest asset, and real assets, those things you talk about, factories, roads, and things like that. But prosperity, 
having people feel they had fulfilling lives and opportunities was dependent on also equal opportunity as a civil right at that time, my own civil rights movement. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.